If you're a freeway fan, we're just east of the 405. One of the modern jewels of the NFL. Beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. So good to be with you. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here. Greg, as we look at this matchup, I'm looking around and hearing this crowd. They're so fired up for this one. What's it like when you come on the road and you've got a hostile environment you need to take care of? You know, I always... All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They're led out by the man from Purdue, their quarterback, Aiden O'Connell. Well, I don't think that stat line last week had him up for any sort of awards. If I had to guess, he'd much rather have a modest game and a win as opposed to throwing for a bunch of touchdowns in a loss. The biggest thing that he did, Mike, he took care of the ball. So as long as he continues to do that, they're going to have a chance to keep on winning. Again, it's Madison. And he'll take this up, working towards the first down mark. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. They'll stick with Madison. And he's only going to be able to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Three plays. No first downs. Time for fourth down. You spend all week developing your opening script. What are you going to do when you get the ball for the first time, Mike? Well, I promise you, it wasn't go three and out and punt. We give credit to the defense. Nice job getting off the field here early. Get the ball back to your offense. This brought in out past the 20. And it'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford, second among all active passers in the NFL. Only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. Stafford was one of those guys, Mike, that I think through the first half of his career was probably the most underappreciated quarterback in the entire... Uh, his first throw of the game is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Mary. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. On the handoff, it's Madison. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's a second and nine. They'll run right side with Madison. And he's in. Alexander Madison. Touchdown Raiders. It's his fourth touchdown on the year. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. This is going to be taken in at the three. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Rams offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They had that pick on the opening drive. It led to a touchdown. So 7-0 the deficit as they get the ball back. First and 10. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Cup in motion. A first down throw for Stafford. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. The NFL's third leading rusher a season ago, it's Kyron Williams. And a good run there on second down. 
A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with their first and 10. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. O'Connell to throw. He'll go right back to Bowers. He's got it again. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And you see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean, two-time Mackey Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time young breakout rookie tight end. They face second down and seven. On play action, O'Connell. This one complete to Bryant. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Here's O'Connell. Here's a screen set up for Abdullah. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen game used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard. They time it up well. And the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. It's a pickup of 13 yards. Good for a Raider first down. To throw is O'Connell. He's got it at the seven. And he's going to be taken down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. Here's a run. Down to the four. It'll be second and goal. So we'll get a second and goal when we return. Seven nothing is our score. And we're back at SoFi in SoCal after this. Line of scrimmage remains the four yard line. It's second and goal. Now O'Connell. Ah, uh, nowhere to get away. And he's going to go down. Feels like they needed that sack. This entire drive feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, Man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone. And, and he's going to be taken down. Could not get rid of the football, and they'll turn it over. Stopped on fourth and goal. 
here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. The Rams offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. We'll see how they want to attack things here, backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. To throw is Stafford. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. A big play after being backed up. 33 yards. Mike, what we're seeing play out across the NFL is that if offensively it requires you to go the length of the field in a long, methodical drive, your chances of coming away with points continue to go down the more you snap the ball. You have to be able to generate shot plays, pick up big, explosive chunks, because when you do, your ability to score points typically tends to follow. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. On play action, it's Stafford. And that ball out of reach toward the sideline. It'll be an incompletion. We'll try again. It's second and ten. A play fake. Now Stafford to throw. He'll find his tight end. It's Kobe Parkinson. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. To the air again, Stafford. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Throwing again is Stafford. That is caught. And he is close to the pileup, but they say he's not in. But he's got the next best thing. No touchdown, but a first down. It's first and goal. Again, it's Stafford. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little... And that big offensive line. Clearing space. He's in. Kyron Williams. Touchdown, L.A. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down, taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. The extra point from Carney is good. And the Rams will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. This taken at the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to come back out for this next possession. We're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Open man. That's Trey Tucker. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, 
But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. The whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. In motion is Myers. On first and 10, here's O'Connell. That one into the hands of Turner. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now it's the veteran, Amir Abdullah. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. Look him up on a second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, O'Connell. Gonna get that complete. Jacoby Myers. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. They'll look to throw. That's over the middle and take it in. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. That one caught by Tucker. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one good for 16 yards. They can still get a first down at the one. First and 10, they go from the 11. He pulls it in around the five. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. On second down, O'Connell. That one taken in. Jacoby Myers. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Rams offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. This one is caught by Robinson. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. A first down throw for Stafford. This one complete to Atwell. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Stafford now on first down. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Stafford to throw again. Comeback route, 
and he's got it. That catch puts him over 100 yards for the game, and we still have another half to go. That catch picks up the first down. A shotgun snap to Stafford. This one taken in by Parkinson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Stafford now on second down. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Jack Jones. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we have reached halftime with these two teams separated by a touchdown as we send you back east to sunny Florida. Standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Forget about that for the moment and turn our attention to quarter number three. Let's go. The return starts from the five. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. They'll break the huddle, coming up now for first and ten. Atwell sent in motion here. First down, Stafford. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. They'll go with Williams. Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down. And five. From the shotgun, it's stacked under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes there's no answer for it. The Rams punting unit coming out. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Raiders offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. On the ground, Abdullah. And he'll work his way past the 40. He's tackled after a gain of four. Third and five. Turner goes in motion. From the gun, on third down, it's O'Connell. I uh, gets that one complete to his tight end, Bowers. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Off the play fake, it's O'Connell. To the left side, it is caught by Myers. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Oh. 
On the give, this is Madison. And he's into the end zone. Alexander Madison. Touchdown, Vegas. Second touchdown of the game. Season total now up to five. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. The Rams offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. Second down, it's Stafford. Pass is completed to Cup. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. They'll try the right side with Williams. And a good tackle out wide will hold him to a gain of just three. Second and seven. They go play action with Stafford. That is caught. It's Robinson. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. On first down, it is Williams. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Divine Diablo there to make the play. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. That is a gain of 15 halfway there as he's down at the 15. On the carry, it's Williams. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. It's another run here for Williams. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So we'll take it to the other end as we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. Working out of the gun, Stafford. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late, and it's probably a touchdown. They'll try to run it with Williams. And he will score! Game on. Tyron Williams. Touchdown, Rams. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again? for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. 
He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Raiders' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They'll run Abdullah. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. Man in motion here is Tucker. Quick throw, taken in. And he puts his head down and he picks up the first down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tredavious White. And the Rams have excellent field position as they take over right at midfield. Here's first and ten. Well, sent in motion here. Now a first down throw for Stafford. Here's a screen set up to Williams. Good looking screen play there, a gain of 11 and a first down. Throwing Stafford. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll stick to the ground. And he will take this down close to a first down. Pickup of nine. They've got him a yard short of the sticks. Here we go. Third and a yard. They'll run. He's got the first down. They'll bring him down at the 28. But the sticks will move. First down picked up on the ground. Back to throw. Stafford. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Now a second down throw for Stafford. And they'll get him down after a game of five, but that is enough for a first down. To throw is Stafford. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now it's Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. They'll run here. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. But how many of those rushes did we see at his time in Michigan, Mike? I mean, it feels like we've been watching this kid play football for years now. And now he's got a chance to make his mark on the NFL stage. 27 rushing touchdowns last year. That led all of college football. This is one of the better young backs to come into the league in the last couple years. His play style really complements what Sean McVay wants out of this Los Angeles Rams offense. 
That is caught by the tight end. Touchdown, Los Angeles. All right, so Mike, now the interesting thing is, do you want to take the lead with still enough time for your opponent to get the ball back to go to try to win it? I think I'm kicking the extra point here, tie the game. I don't want my opponent in a fast two-minute mode to try to win this game in regulation. Now I'm playing for overtime. The extra point is good. A big one as we are tied late in this football game. Tie game. Still time to break that tie, though, as you see. Maybe run a two-minute offense. And the kick's in the air. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Raiders offense about ready to take over once more. This one tight throughout all level at 21 as they'll search for a go-ahead score. They'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and he's got Myers. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. A second down throw for O'Connell. That one caught by Tucker. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. On first and ten, here's O'Connell. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. From the gun, it's O'Connell. Open man, right side. He's got it. Now this defense will use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute left in this one final minute still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten he gets this one to Tucker and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker It is second and a yard. Turner goes in motion. Abdullah. And he'll get this inside the 20. A nice run. They're in the red zone. It's first down. Madison. And he'll take this down to about the 15. Here comes second down. They bring the tight end in motion. Now Madison. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. So big kick coming now for Daniel Carlson. This to win the game. This kick is good. So this one, a win for the Raiders. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.